Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up Mobox, a Windows emulator for Android. Using this, you can run Windows games or apps on an Android phone. I have already made a video in this showcasing how this thing works. And in my opinion, this is probably the best Windows emulator for Android as of now. We will talk more about this as we go through the tutorial. So let's begin. So this is the official GitHub page for Mobox and uh, you just need to follow the instructions. It's actually pretty simple but since you guys requested to do a full setup tutorial I'm here to do it. All right. So first we need these three apps Termux, Termux X11 and Input Bridge. You can download them by simply clicking on the name of the app and the app will start to download once you download these three apps make sure to install them first you need to open the termux app and go back to the github page and copy this command here where it says open termux and paste command you should be able to copy that by clicking on that and go back to termux and paste that in here just like that and hit enter on your keyboard and now it will say installing Termux and it will ask you for a file permission. So allow that. So then it will start installing Termux packages. Basically, it's installing the Mobox and it will take some time to get installed. So maybe around depending on the Internet speed plus your device specs, uh, maybe minimum five to six minutes so we just have to wait for it to get installed now it says type mobox if you go to the official github page you can see once it's installed you just need to type mobox in termux so before we do that let's open termux x11 app open that allow the permissions and go to preferences and change the display resolution mode to exact all right and then change the display resolution to whatever you like higher means it's going to run slow lower means it's going to run faster so let's say for this example i think the best you know overall resolution would be 1280 by 720 stretch to fit display enable that and under keyboard you may want to turn off this option show additional keyboard just like that or you can actually go back to the github page in here here you can see the recommended settings for the termux x11 you can just follow this and turn off or on all these settings now we go back to the termux app all right in here we just need to type more box all right and hit enter if you need to you can just rotate your phone to landscape mode and in here we can see we have different options start wine this is the main thing which will run windows games and apps settings manage packages and select current wine container okay we will talk about that later let's first launch the wine the first option is selected so i'm gonna click on enter if this is your first time launching this it will take some time you can see it says that this may take a few minutes yeah this is this only happens for the first time once it's configured it will launch quickly when you launch this next time now once it is uh, configured it will open the termux x11 all right automatically so you can see for some reason sometime you may get a bug where uh, you know um, the interface will look weird in that case you may want to turn this off or you can go to the termux x11's preferences and try to change these settings nothing works then you may want to turn this off go back to the termux and enter one and then hit enter and then start the wine again okay this time it will launch quickly because uh, it is configured already so now you can see it is appearing properly here we have the start menu and everything and now uh, go to the install section and then you may want to install the latest wine let's say all right so go there and install the wine you can actually go to the control panel add remove 
programs and in here you can see almost everything is already installed actually so you don't actually need to install anything even the graphics driver is uh, pre-installed let's install the mono and gecko installer this thing is actually important because a lot of the things actually requires you to have a uh, wine gecko or mono so just install it and then it will be easy to install other programs or when you're installing the programs if these tools are required uh, it will auto install now let's install some windows programs or games so go to your d drive and here this is actually a downloads folder of your android phone so whatever you download on your android phone will appear in this d drive so you can see i have downloaded some uh, windows programs and games that i can install let's say for example i'm going to install the firefox in here you can see firefox setup i'm gonna open this and you can see it's extracting so basically it's installing the firefox and one more thing if you have a really good phone with really good specs this will run really well let's install steam now it will also take some time because it's a really big program at least for phone okay it is actually installed already now let's try to install some games i guess so let's say this classic game double dragon fist of rage i'm gonna double click on it and it looks like this is a portable game all right and it looks like I need a joystick, <laughs> okay. Or I need a external keyboard for this. Oh, wow. How do I suppose to hit enter if I don't have any keyboard? So you can see it's actually running. How about Street Fighter 2? Okay, I got an error. If you get this, actually there is a way to fix this. Someone actually commented in my last video, if you get a runtime error, you can actually fix this by changing some settings. So you can see I can't run or install Street Fighter because I got the runtime error. So if that's the case, uh, with your application you shut down this all right now go back to the termux and make sure that you are here in mobox and then go to settings and then go to dynarec settings which will be the first settings okay select that option hit enter and in here we have a compatibility uh, presets so you can see we have five presets in here so i don't know which one is uh, the default preset right now maybe it is the fifth one so basically what i'm gonna do here is select one of these presets let's say three okay and i'm gonna hit enter or maybe three was the default uh, preset let's select the one okay i'm gonna select the first just i'm gonna enter the one there and i'm gonna hit enter all right that's how you do it so i'm gonna actually go with the three maybe one was the default who knows but when we change it we know for sure that that's the preset that we are using now we're just gonna hit enter to go back and uh, we're gonna use these arrows to select the cancel button now we're gonna go and start the wine all right and hopefully this time we will be able to install the uh the street fighter okay this is the street fighter i'm just gonna open this and yes so this is how you fix any type of issues that you get in the simulator and this is why i think this is the best windows emulator because it is more flexible and you can change settings here and there and try to fix some issues with different games or different apps so you can see now we can install this game and i'm actually gonna install this all right okay i have one more game uh, that's five nights at freddy four i think i don't know i never played this game actually but i have seen videos on, on these like markiplier pewdiepie playing these games I know that so let's run this hopefully it runs and it is a portable game so you don't actually need to install it so you can see it is running and sadly i don't have <laughs> keyboard oh okay it is working i just tapped on the screen and i think it it worked okay i i don't need a external keyboard i guess let's go with the new game 
so you can see this game is actually running if you have watched my last video then you know that i talked about that people were running gta 5 game on this thing so this simulator is actually powerful and you can play some big triple a title games in it you may have to change some settings here and there but it is possible uh, yeah let's use the task manager to close it since i don't have a external keyboard and mouse this becomes a little bit like you know hard to use not gonna lie about that <laughs> right let's try to install one more thing this is a browser called slimjet uh, based on chromium and i'm gonna try to install it and hopefully it will get installed yes it's unpacking the data and now it will get installed uh, one more thing you don't really need a web browser in the simulator because you can use your phone's web browser to download anything that you want and go to your downloads folder or just go to your d drive in here and you'll access all the files that you downloaded from your phone but if there is a reason to use web browser in here then yeah sure you can use web browsers let's open this slimjet web browser oh it crashed <laughs> okay i think i may have to change some settings in here let's let's go with something else like let's change the preset okay yeah this is the best thing about this uh, windows emulator that you can change so many things here and there to try and fix some issues hopefully yeah at least you have the option so yeah uh, let's actually change the dynamic uh, settings let's go with the uh, fifth option improves performance a lot okay if you need performance a lot let's go with that i guess and hopefully it won't uh crash this time okay you can see wow see that's what i'm talking oh okay my happiness go bye bye in second maybe i need to change a few more settings here and there and i need to figure out which settings works for this so yeah i'm just this is headache you know no matter what settings or what presets you choose uh it won't be perfect it won't work with everything you will have to change some settings here and there for different things different games different apps there are so many settings the most important one is the dynamic uh, this probably fixes most common issues with the different games and everything so if there is anything that you really want to run then make sure to just change some settings here and there start with the dynamic and then um, go further go deeper if you feel like all right and i think i have managed to uh, run the firefox in here so yeah forget about the slim jet <laughs> and let's finish this by running the steam all right so it's actually updating right now so let this thing update and uh, yeah uh, for me steam takes about one to two minutes to actually show up maybe my phone isn't that powerful i mean it has only six gigabyte of ram which is not enough actually these days especially when you're doing like emulation almost like four to five gigabytes of ram is already used by uh, the android so there is like barely like one or maybe one and a half gigabyte of ram left which is not a lot for windows and here it is beautiful this time it launched faster than last time when i checked it i think it's because of the dynamic settings that we changed so if there is an issue with any app that you're trying to run just go and change the dynamic settings and that should probably fix almost any issue that you get so you can see steam is running i can sign in and download the games yeah i think that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it uh, if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me please do the comment we can always have some chit chat in the comment section too and if i missed something or you know or you didn't understand anything try to help each other out in the comments i'll i'll, I'll be also joining don't worry <laughs> okay so yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye